Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Stormworks. We are once again working on our oil rig and we've got a little bit more piping to do here on this episode. So what we don't have in yet is a way to export our fuels. So that's kind of going to be one of the things that we're going to work on mainly today. There's going to be a couple different ways that we do this and I'm not going to build all of them right now, but um, essentially today we're going to work on a winch system that drops a couple buoys and you can hook up some hoses and then that way you can bring diesel on board to run the generator or export it to sell it and you can do that with the the jet fuel now i'm also going to make a point over by the helipad that you can pick it up as well as kind of like a a, a dock setup so you can dock a ship next to the oil rig and then unload it that way but yeah we got another pipe full episode so we are basically just going to be doing a little bit of piping a little bit of decoration kind of same thing and uh yeah that's what we're going to get into so i'm going to let the time lapse roll if you guys like this build series don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button we are working away at this i know this has been a long project so we're chipping away at it but you guys have been pretty supportive through it all so i really appreciate that but uh yeah we uh we're just gonna let the build time lapse roll and We'll get into it in a few minutes. All right, well, we got all of our lines kind of ran here. So now we just got to add a couple pumps and then up above, I'm going to add the controls to the pulleys and, or well, not the pulleys, the winches and whatnot. But yeah, so we've got to add a pump out for the jet. There's no real reason you would need to import it and uh, you can produce it anyway. So there's only an export for the jet fuel. And then for the diesel, there's gonna be an import and an export because the generator works off of diesel. So that is kind of the idea with that. And you can see we've got all of these pipes pretty neatly ran. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna try to make these pumps look good. And uh, then we'll go on to the top side of that kind of mesh or the grating. And uh, we will kind of start hooking up all of the, the controls for it and whatnot. But nothing too fancy here. We are just trying to get all of this hooked up. The, um, the pipes 
were kind of the bigger issue here just because I was trying to tuck them in with the rest of them. So we got the pipes all sorted out. The rest of it's kind of just playing around with the pump positions and whatnot. And over on this diesel side, obviously, we've, we're going to have to have a T or some sort of junction like that. So I'm just trying to find the best way to kind of place this as far as how I like it looks. And uh, yeah, I think that'll work out for us. And we will just have to pump into these hoses into the winches now and we can kind of attach them to a floating buoy and we'll just kind of hook it up. So we're going to go up here and I played with a couple different designs for the top side of this, but in the end I, uh, I decided to kind of just build this wall of controls so you could um, kind of go up there and control all of it manually up there. I didn't want to kind of add another room or separate station for this, especially because the same kind of plan is going to be over by the, uh, the helipad so there's going to be a couple outlets to fuels and whatnot and you're going to be able to use them at will i didn't want to have kind of some separate controls placed because you're probably going to have to get in and uh, attach a hose to something anyways when you're you know exporting the fuel i'm not going to do it with any hose connectors or anything like that but enough of that i'm kind of just rambling on about so I'm playing around with those kind of control panels up top, but I, I didn't necessarily like how that looked. So we're going to actually switch it over to a wall on the side and it will look a lot better in my mind. And it'll kind of give us also a lot more space for controls and whatnot. But like I mentioned a little earlier, um, this isn't going to be the only way to export the fuel. So Basically, if you can imagine coming off of this structure um, behind us that was holding up the winches, we're going to go directly down from there as close to the water line as possible. And we're going to have, have a, a couple hose hookups over there, too. So um, basically, you can go over and you will be able to kind of dock next to the, the pontoon and load fuel that way. Or you can go and use these buoys if you need to, if it's something a little bit different or larger or, or you know, smaller or whatnot. Um, it just kind of gives you another option to do that. But I'm trying to make this look good in the uh, the wall here. And I just, I wasn't super happy with it just because, um, you know, you kind of are looking that way anyway. So I don't think I want to block that side. And if we move it over to this wall, we're going to have a lot more room. So I'm going to try to switch this so it's not all just key buttons, make it look a little bit nicer, but we're going to, now that we have this extra room, we're going to expand it a little bit and I'm going to give it a, a nice little different color paint job so you know it's up here. But uh, yeah, this is essentially how you're going to control all the winches right here and uh, also pump out the fluids like we talked about earlier. And so we'll just kind of repeat this, um, not that exact setup, but that kind of area over um you know, on the bottom of this, uh, the side of the oil rig, whatever you want to call it, really where it's going to have the other hose hookups.
All right, well, we, uh, we're back over working on this control panel, and I'm trying to throw in a couple different instrument panels and buttons and all sorts of kind of weird gauges and whatnot just to kind of make the, the panel look better itself. But essentially, we have a fluid gauge for each of our fuels and then a winch up and a winch down and a pump in and um, a pump out. Obviously, on the jet side, you can see we only have the pump out, So, um, and those are the key buttons. So yeah, I'm, I'm essentially, I'm just kind of making these little control panels, and I'm just going to copy and paste them. They're each going to get their own controls. And uh, that way you can kind of control it individually and it shouldn't be too too complicated or hard to understand or whatnot. So um, the last thing I want to do is I kind of want to add a couple lights up here. And uh, I'm just hooking everything up real quick. I did the microcontroller off camera. But um, the last thing that I wanted to do up here was add a couple of lights. And then that way, um, you know, at nighttime, you can kind of see your way around up here a lot better because it gets very dark. So um, definitely we're going to do that. Add a little bit more kind of paint and, you know, light and that kind of stuff to make it look better. But this is kind of the basic idea of what we're going for. kind of got it hooked up hopefully correctly and uh, we're just going to come up here and check it out so you, like you guys can see I added that lamp just on a player sensor so there's no actual control but uh, obviously it, it'll help at nighttime a lot better once you get up here and I'm just making sure that all of these have power and they're the right color and they work and whatnot so we're going to send these little buoys down and uh, yeah we'll just kind of make sure that it all kind of checks out now I did go off camera 
and uh, plug these into a bunch of tanks and make sure that they actually did work, but they do work. So um, that, that station is at least done and dusted, and that's pretty much what we're going to do for today. So I know today's episode was a little bit shorter, but also there wasn't as much to do, and I didn't want to kind of open up the next project that we will be doing, which is part of the uh, the diving room and the diving bell and, and that kind of good stuff. But yeah, so if you stayed to the end, this is the end, and uh, I appreciate you you being here if you guys like this series don't forget to uh you know share it like it do your thing and uh yeah we will see you in the next one i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day